In my previous column, Opinion and Otherwise Reporting Situation, we were talking about the safety, sanctification, and, well, sanitation of American food and how we are having a lack of staffing going on due to the American mood that all of our children should go to college, which isn't exactly true, but the fact that the collegiate programs that are being studied across the land are producing more business people, but not foodie people. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about the sustainability of our economy and the sustainability of our nation. What I see a great deal of, even in the restaurants that are still functioning despite the time of COVID and despite the upturn of the cost of living and despite the increase in those purchases at restaurants, with the exception of some fast food places, is that the more posh restaurants, their people who handle food are still rather rude with food. You see, they send a huge trash bin out to the trash can. And that trash is full of a mixture of products. A mixture of paper products, receipts, and, well, invoices. A mixture of french fries, potatoes, and bread. A mixture of people's, of course, paltry leftovers from their plates, including meats and other treats. But what we don't see is a separation of trash. If companies were trying to sustain our economy, sustain our farming industries, importantly, sustain our, well, animal husbandry, in terms of the fact that that's how we produce those foods, they might consider separating out the trash for several reasons. On the one hand, we have to produce healthy animals in order for us to maintain healthy bodies. We also have to be careful that there's a lot of pesticides being put down on the grasses that can impact the naturalness of wild food, wild turkeys and geese and other things that we tend to see as delicacies that aren't always protected in different states, but openly that still put food on our plate. What could be happening with the vegetables that are pulled off of someone's leftover salad or the vegetables that they were cooked and didn't get finished is all of that could be placed in a bin. All the breads could be placed in a bin, all the french fries that are left over at the end of a day that aren't collected by employees to take home to their own families could be again placed in its own plastic garbage bag. Not only does it make the hauling and the lifting over a huge barrel bin of a trash can outdoors that we all have seen many times that are advertising their companies a lot easier for the backs and the ergonomics of an employee who's got to do that, who takes turn with his other co-fellow workers and teammates to do that, it makes it easier for those people who are collecting those things to feed our animals around the community or possibly feed people, even though there's still food nutrients in breads that are produced but not needed for a shift because there just wasn't enough customers or enough potato fries that were produced in overabundance because there's something that they easily throw away and they don't think about the value of them at the end of the day that openly it makes it much cleaner for the separation and the recycling of trash at the corporations that are responsible for recycling. Instead of having sauces and things all mixed in one, I can remember when I worked in a particular restaurant that they would actually do that, that they would actually separate out things to make it easier, cleaner, and less mess and fuss for the person who had to clean up the trash. But what we're also talking about is the value of taking lettuce and other types of vegetables and putting them together that could be used to feed possibly, I don't know the laws on this, but our hogs. Because it seems like that that's probably what happens, despite the grains, despite the pet foods, despite the domesticated animal foods to keep them healthy and wealthy and wise, but it seems like that recycling those breads, those grains, those corns, those broccolis could be utilized for different types of animals that we feed off of after they've lived their lives.